Hello, my name is Travis Monk. This is one of a series of videos involving cellular reproduction. This video will provide an overview of different phases of the cell cycle and how they can be identified using a compound light microscope. The picture on the bottom of the slide shows you what you might typically find under a compound light microscope. Interphase is characterized by a seeming lack of activity. Since the sub-steps of interphase take a tremendous amount of time, most of the cells that you would find underneath a microscope would be an interphase. The cell designated on this slide is an interphase. One or two nucleoli are usually observed during this phase. Distinct chromosomes are not visible during this portion of the cell cycle, as DNA is in the form of chromatin. During prophase, the first stage of mitosis, individual chromosomes can be identified since DNA has become condensed. What can be seen is that they are still contained within the spherical nucleus, as the nuclear envelope has not yet dissolved. There is no great picture of metaphase, the second phase of mitosis in this slide, so I pointed towards the one that looks closest. What is typically found during metaphase is a line of chromosomes along the center of the cell. The way that I could distinguish metaphase from anaphase, the next stage that we'll talk about, is quite simple. If you can draw one line through the cell and make contact with every single chromosome, you're probably looking at metaphase. Anaphase, the third phase of mitosis, looks, at least in my opinion, like two spiders as designated in the cell to the right. During anaphase, spindle fibers pull chromatid towards centrosomes, giving this phase of mitosis its distinct appearance. During telophase, the nuclear envelope begins to reform and, in plant cells, a cell plate begins to reform. The cell plate, shown in this picture, looks like an incomplete section of the cell wall in between two half-sized cells. One thing that is important to recognize is that the cell cycle is a continuous series of events. Sometimes a cell looks like it might be between two different phases, and you just need to use your best judgment to determine what you're looking at. That is the end of this video, exhibiting what different phases of mitosis might look like underneath the microscope. If you are interested in learning about any other topics relating to cellular reproduction, or any other themes of biology, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.